Hello and welcome back to Fallout 76. Today we are going to have a look at Circuit Breaker. It is a brand new weapon that was just added to the game. It is uh, part of the Season 15 scoreboard. It is rank 35. I have just claimed it. I haven't actually had a chance to use it at all, so I'll be using it for the first time during this video. So here is what the Circuit Breaker looks like. It is a pistol that looks like a 10 mil pistol, but it's not. It has the legendary effect of anti-armor, 50% armor penetration, and it has 15% faster reload speed. It also has an effect that reads, successful final round shot will create an enemy blast that deals damage and stuns enemies within 50 feet. Stunned enemies will be immune to being stunned again for 10 seconds. And you can also see there that it uses fusion cells. That's not, it's not an ammo type I chose. That is the only option it uses fusion cells. And it is actually considered an energy weapon. So not only does it benefit from the gunslinger perks because it is semi-automatic, there is no automatic option. It also benefits from the science perks. So here we are on the workbench and it says mods unlocked one of one, which is kind of weird. Uh, there are mods for it. It actually, even though it's not a 10 mil pistol, it actually uses the 10 mil mods, but not all of them. You don't have the full range of mods available to you. So these are your receiver options. Now calibrated is normally what I would use if it was a semi-automatic. Uh, and there is no automatic option, otherwise I'd do tweaked automatic, but yeah, this is a semi-automatic weapon. And with a capacity of only eight rounds, that's probably a good thing. Uh, normally I would use an aligned long barrel, but that's not one of the choices. So I just chose true. They all have the same uh, AP cost, but this one seems to have uh, the best accuracy out of all the long barrels. So that's why I chose it. Now I did choose the forceful grip. That did save on AP cost a little bit, and it also gives a longer condition bar. There are only two magazines available. They're standard magazine and large. Large increases AP cost and and uh, the rounds are uh, where the capacity goes to 12. Uh, I kept it at the standard because it does have that last shot effect. So running out of uh, running out of ammo is looks like that's what you want to trigger that effect. So I figure keep it at eight and we'll see what that last effect does if it's any good. Now I have a reflex sight on it. These are all the sights, so no scope option. Not that I would put a scope on it, but those are the only sight options. And there is no suppressor. All you get is this energy muzzle. It looks like a suppressor. And I don't even know if this is a silence weapon or if it's not, because sometimes you can get something like the alien blaster that is silenced, even though it doesn't have a suppressor. So I actually have no idea how this is going to go, but this is the only mod uh, available. Now I have one rank of all the gunslinger perks and I do have, well, I have five points of science perks. I don't have six. I have five points of science perks for a little bit ex of extra damage. And I do have critical savvy and better criticals to take advantage of critical hits. Now, the biggest biggest challenge for me on this one is the is to not reload. I have a, I do have a problem with. Ooh, oh wow, that sounds really cool. Okay, that sounds pretty cool. That sounds pretty cool. I do have an issue where I and I and I did I reloaded right away. So I did have an issue where I. Uh, okay, it makes a cool sound. Uh, I'm in caution. Everything's dead. Okay, I've got one shot left. I'm gonna. Oh, look at this. Look at the pool. That's uh, the ash pile has little sparks coming out of it. Okay, that's pretty cool. I like it. That's a. I like the fact that it's a unique effect. You don't see this with anything else. So I like that they put a new, a new thing in there. That's a pretty nice touch. Okay, so we've got one shot in here. Let's see what happens. Oh, okay. And that. Uh, okay, so it stunned him. Oh wow! And so you can see the animation. Okay, it didn't last very long, but you can actually see the animation. I like this. I'm not sure if it's silenced or not. Uh, my character is rather stealthy. Uh, I do have uh, a full set of Covert Scout that is shadowed. So that does help. I, it's, I'm full health, though, so I don't have crazy uh, agility or anything like that. Oh, I'm in danger. Okay, so this is definitely not a suppressed weapon. Because I never would have been in, when uh, would not have been detected if that was a silenced uh, 10 mil pistol. Uh, let's see what happens here. Okay, so that was a, and I, okay. Okay, that was, uh, that was interesting. Okay, so we've got, uh, okay, there's, okay, so there it is, final shot. Maybe it was reloading prematurely, I don't know. That stun effect is pretty cool, though. So I am kind of curious, uh, just as a comparison, I decided to, uh, just craft a 10 mil pistol real quick, and I put the exact same mods on it, with the exception of a suppressor, I don't have an energy an energy uh, barrel that I can put on it. Uh, but the damage is quite a bit different. So I have the damage as my character's equipped, and that's with one rank of all the gunslinger perks, is 41 with a regular 10 mil pistol. And of course it holds 12 rounds versus eight. 
And here we have the Circuit Breaker at 68. So it's more than a 50% damage buff. So that's actually pretty good. It, obviously, it can't be suppressed, but still, that's uh, that's a pretty decent damage buff if you tend to run your 10 mil pistol as a semi-automatic. And one more thing I didn't mention, that that 10 mil pistol and the Circuit Breaker have the exact same AP cost as configured, which is 16. So there's really no advantage there other than the ability to be suppressed. Now, I'm going to just go to the Fusion Cores. That is the... Uh, the coward's way out. Try not to reload. That is so difficult for me. That's going to be the hardest part about this weapon is the... Uh... Okay, so there was a last shot. And we got the little explosion. Didn't do any good because... Oh, it did. We stunned this one. Oh, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I like it. This is this is actually pretty fun. I, I like this gun. It's just... It's different. Obviously, it looks and set... Well, it looks like a 10 mil pistol. It has a little different sound. But having just those extra visuals make it really fun. Uh, I like that. I like that a lot. Let's see here. We got that, and and the damage seems fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're coming for you. We're coming. All right. Wait. Well, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Uh, there we are. Oh, and we got the... And he's stunned, which is not... Uh, that stun is actually pretty helpful, uh, especially for a pistol. So maybe you're you're not doing as much damage as you would be with, uh, like, a rifle, something like that. So having uh, an enemy that may take a few more rounds to take out Having them get stunned for a few seconds, that could actually be pretty helpful. Uh, yeah, I guess the trick is to not reload even between. So I have four rounds. I'm just going to leave it at that. But yeah, so far this gun seems like you kind of have to adapt to it, I think. If you care about that last round effect, which seems like you should because that's pretty... Okay. I can't vats these. They're all showing as neutral, which is... Uh, that's not frustrating at all. And there's a reload. Jeez. It's just like a habit. I don't even realize I'm doing it. <laughs> I like the crackling though. That is really cool. Even so, even when they're not turned to ash, it's still, still crackling. I like that a lot. Let's see. There's Savire Lurks way over there. Oh, Legendary King. Okay. There we go. Legendary level 60 Myrler King. And uh, we stunned him. We, then we get a reload. And hopefully we can kill him before. Now he's immune to stunning again. Okay. There's a King. And now I'm in danger. Yeah, this is definitely not a suppressed weapon. Not a suppressed weapon at all. Okay, so that is the downside. So the AP costs, run out of AP. I like, it. actually, hip fire accuracy is pretty good as well. It's not too bad. Okay, come on, there we go. Yeah, the stu the stunning effect is, is pretty fun. I don't know that this is the best weapon for crowds though, uh, but it is different, definitely challenging. All right, let's see how we do against the Myrler Queen. Now, one thing I should have done is I should have uh, built a company T generator so I could test that out as well. I think that unlocked at level 25. So I think that'd be a kind of a fun thing. Oh, oh, okay. So this could be super useful. Okay, she's stunned, but she's still pit spitting out, uh, spitting out poison, which doesn't seem to be, uh, doesn't seem to be quite fair. But we're still getting the job done for the most part. Yeah, she's uh, she's coming for me, and she'll do a whole ton of damage. Ah, okay. Uh, I guess I have Born Survivor equipped. That's good. I didn't realize that I had that equipped. Uh, where is she? Probably from the last time when I fought her with a uh, black powder rifle. So the stun, yeah, the stun is really useful against a big enemy like this. You need it when you're not doing as much damage. You definitely need that, but that's actually pretty cool. So now I want to find out what happens if I stun something that's flying. Of course, timing that last round so you're actually, uh, Stunning something in the sky. Well, if I waste a bunch of ammo. There we go. Because I can't hit anything manually aiming. Uh, you know, in theory, it should just fall right out of the sky. Okay. <laughs> I'm too stealthy. No, I'm not. I'm in danger. Okay, they're... they're uh... Oh, and there's ghouls. Okay, so having other enemies isn't helping. That's distracting her. But yeah, the AP cost is actually pretty high for something uh, that you're basically firing as fast as you can to get to the last shot. Uh, something's shooting at me. There we go. There's that one. Okay, I got one shot left. Oh, I stunned it. And what is it? Oh, it flies in place. Okay, so that's what happens to a Scorch Beast. It just, so it's basically the same as the Cryolator uh, as far as that goes. It just kind of stays in place. Okay, that was a... Uh, I wonder if it has to be a kill on a last round. I wonder if that's the deal. So I have to kill one enemy with the last shot and then it'll stun all the other enemies. No, because I stunned the Scorch Beast. So no, that's not it either. It just doesn't seem to 
Or maybe I'm just reloading and I'm not realizing it. I'll notice when I'm editing the video. Could be I'm just reloading without... Uh, Born Survivor, I didn't know that I had it equipped. So, uh, which means I don't have sneak going. So that's probably why I'm not stealthy. Still shouldn't matter though. Definitely doesn't feel like the most powerful gun. Even though a 10 mil does less damage, it does feel like it might have taken it down by now. I'm not sure. Oh, though I'm not doing sneak attacks. That's I guess that's the big thing. I'm not doing sneak attacks, so it's a lot less damage. Something keeps shooting me. I have no idea where these shots are coming from. So I've taken off Born Survivor and put Sneak back on. Let's see if I can do uh, if I can finish him off in stealth. Uh, well, still in caution. That's a good sign. And he is stunned. So yeah, there we go. So it's it's not a silence weapon, but it definitely uh, de definitely benefits if you can stay in stealth. And there you have it, a early look, kind of a quick look at the Surga Breaker. It's the uh, first time I've used it. Uh, I think this is pretty fun. It's got uh, an interesting look, uh, at least with that barrel, that little energy energy pulse going through the barrel. And I like what it does to the corpses, that uh, kind of lightning effect on corpses or ash piles. Uh, the stun effect is fun. I think this is going to be a case where I'm going to have to kind of train myself how to use this weapon the most effectively. But I definitely look forward to playing with this a lot more. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit one of the buttons down below, and I hope you'll join me in the next one. Thank you very much.